He ain't for hatred. He ain't for you running your mouth too much, telling folks on what God's for me. He's for kindness. He's for meekness. He's for long suffering. He's for the fruit of the Spirit. He's for forgiving one another. He said, be kind, tender hearted to one another. Ain't that the word? Ain't that the word? Tender hearted to one another. Oh, bless us now. Okay, let's go to the 24th verse. Wait a minute. Where did I stop? I'm going to get to the separated part. We're going to go home. 32. Let's read. He spared not his own son, but delivered us for us all. How she not with him all freely give us all things. That's a good word to tell her princess. I'm real good this week. If Jesus gave you the greater, can you, won't he give you the lesser? Come and say, if Jesus, if Father God gave me the greater, giving me Jesus, won't he give me the lesser? What is the lesser? Money. We're holding on to the lesser when we don't tithe. He done given you Jesus. If he gave you Jesus, won't he give you the lesser? If he gave you Jesus the greatest, won't he give you the lesser? Won't he give you money? Won't he give you houses? Won't he give you land? God's not going to let houses and land and money be greater than Jesus. How many understand what I'm saying? God's not going to let it. And even in your own life, are you listening? In your own life, especially the married couples, a house shouldn't be greater than your wife, husband. A house shouldn't be greater than your wife, wives. Wives, husbands, vice versa as well. A house should be greater than your wife, husband. And why, why husband, your wife, why house should be greater than your wife? But some it is. Come on, man. Nothing in material should be greater than your wife or greater than your husband. And so God looks at you the same way. Nothing in this earth I've created tangibly is greater than the soul, greater than humanity because he so loved us. Help us to be thinking like you. So if he gave Jesus, he spared not his own son. Which was say, what's the, say the greatest? And deliver him up for us all. How should he not with him freely give us all things? The rest is the lesser. He gave you the best first. He gave you Jesus first. What you're struggling and giving and tithing. And especially during Christmas time when it's his birthday and not yours. Get them toys and turn them back in and bring it to the house of God because it ain't your birthday. Come and say, it ain't my birthday. And you know, look at me good. I'm going to end it. Look at me good. You know if it's your birthday. And here's somebody come and spoil your party. And it's your birthday. Ban out there, your name on it. Happy birthday. And somebody come in there. Come with mine too. I'm getting some of these gifts. And all the invitation has only your name on it. And they walk around there talking about, am I getting some of this? Did you send out the invitation? Is this your house here? We laugh about it. That's how we do Jesus. I told you, don't insult him during Christmas because it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Jesus. The 25th has passed, but say it again. Say it out to me. Happy birthday. Come on, say happy birthday. See, you can't say it good because you know you got this stuff. All wrapped up, play with it. <laughs> play with it. Don't want to give it up. Indian giver. No ties and offers all down there. <laughs> the lesser. The lesser is thing. The lesser is thing. The lesser is material. The lesser. Thank God he gave me Jesus. Say, so whatever. Go old. Say, so gave me Jesus, and Jesus would never go old in my life. I hold you in great value. You better tell him. You better tell him, Lord. I love, thank you for this house, but I love you more. I thank you for the car, but I love you more. I thank you for my wife, but I love you more. She thanked me for being her, thank God being her husband, but she loved Jesus more. And I want her too, because God got rights to her. Say, so eternal rights. She writes that goes so far back to the foundation of the earth. He knew her. For she knew her mama. For her children, the same thing with you. God has rights to it. I say yes to that, Lord. I said yes. I said yes. Give your hand right now. I'm trying to go and say thank you for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Say thank God for Jesus. 
Then third and third verse, who shall lay the child thing to the child of God? Shall it's God to justify. Who, he is, who, who is he that condemned? It? It's Christ that died and rather that's risen again, who is even at the right hand, hand of God, who makes his intercession for us. We're talking about him living in us now. Read the fifth verse now. Who shall separate us? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nickel or pearl or sword? As is written, for thy sake we are what? Kill all the day long. Something's always trying to get you to, to, to evict God. Something's always coming against you. I keep telling you, I keep telling you, I keep telling you all. Whatever hits you from Satan, his first thing he wants you to do is to leave Jesus. Don't leave your wife first. That's not on the first list. Leave Jesus. I'm going through a storm. He wants you to leave Jesus. They're talking about you in the job. They want you to leave Jesus. Talking about you in the church. They want you to leave Jesus. Whatever you're going through, Satan is hoping that you walk away. The first Walk away from Christ. Stop serving the Lord. We're counted as sheep for the slaughter. That's how Satan wants to slaughter you. But read the 37 verse. But nay, in all these things, we are what? More than conquerors through him. And if you stay with God, you're going to experience his love. If I stay with God, keep praying. Keep cleaving to him. Keep just yielding to the Holy Spirit. I got to pray. If you yield to the Holy Spirit, he'll be in charge of your prayer. He'll bring proud to you being steadfast, unmovable. Because, because we can get up here. I'm going to go home. Close your Bible. I'm going, to, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. See, but we can get up here and talk about I ain't going nowhere. I ain't backslide. I'm staying with God. But I'm going to tell you, my, my words ain't enough. I need to yield myself to God. Lord, keep me from falling. Because I'm here to tell you, Satan has thrown some stuff at us for a while, but he ain't yet through his best punch yet. So we got to stay rooted and grounded in Jesus and keep talking to the Lord daily. So somebody say daily. So I'll stay in the love of God. Amen? Because sometimes we feel anointed and we feel excited. I ain't going nowhere. I love me some Jesus. I love me some Jesus. But let me tell you, you got to take one day at a time and give yourself to God and say, Lord, keep me from falling. I know you were with me yesterday, but keep me today. I know I saw you spit the Red Sea, but keep me today. I know I saw you do this for me and you did this for me. But folk who God has done some major, major things for walking away from him. It's true. Throwing in the tower. Stand on your feet. Lord, keep us. Lord, keep us. Lord, keep me. The keeper of my soul. Come on, say, the keeper of my soul. Keep me, Lord. Can we give God a hand for the word? Keep me. Keep us. Keep us. Thank you, Lord. Keep us, Lord. Keep us, Lord. The living God. 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 My trust is in you, Lord. My trust is in you, Jesus. Anybody here that don't know Christ? You've strayed from the faith, but you want to be drawn back to the faith. In Jesus Christ, I want you to come. Jesus said, come unto me. Those that come to him, he will in no wise cast out. Anybody here that's not a believer, I'm not saved. I was saved, or I've never been saved. He's here to restore you. Or if you've never been saved, he's here to save you. He's here to come into your life. What a good time to come.